There could be a human being that could come into the earth and could accomplish every great thing that could ever be done. Solomon did. He come and did it all. He come and accomplished everything. And at the end of his book, he says something very interesting. He says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. He's basically saying, listen, when I could ask God for anything, the thing I asked for was wisdom. I was the wisest guy in the whole world. And then what I did was I took that wisdom and I went and accomplished everything that could ever be accomplished in the whole earth. So you can take everything any human being could accomplish and pile it up into one. That's Solomon. And so he lived his life seeking all these things for a long time. Mm -hmm. He said, look at this great ability I have. Look at this great wisdom I have. Let me now en enlist this ability and this wisdom I have, and let me go accomplish. Mm -hmm. And at the end of all that, he says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Believe on God and keep his wisdom. <laughs> Believe on God and keep his commandment, which is his code of wisdom. Right. What is his code of wisdom? Not by strength of my hand will I have life, but by strength of God's hand will I have life. So he said, at the end of all this, at the end of everything I did, it looks real pretty. I made many cities. I became the richest guy that ever lived. I built many, many temples. I even built temples for God. I, I took on thousands of wives. I have thousands of kids. I'm the king of Israel. I reign. Kings everywhere. Want to be. He did it all. He said, at the end of the day, uh, this is the conclusion. Fear God and keep his commandments. That is the whole duty of man. And the yes. commandment there, see, men translate that incorrectly. They make it plural. It's the commandment. Fear God and keep his commandment, which is his code of wisdom. God's code of wisdom was manifested in Jesus, which is that we can't have life by the works of our own hands. We can't have life by making ourselves fruitful. We can only have life by God giving it to us as a free gift. That's the code of God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. And that's what Solomon, that's the conclusion he came to. And he came to the conclusion that everything he did through his great ability and wisdom was vanity of vanity. Right. You know, in Ecclesiastes,